And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will kick off with our first category, and we will have a look at the best use of technology for a social good. The award for best use of technology for social good goes to Harass Map. Harass Map is a project in Egypt to try and reduce sexual harassment of girls and women. The jury found this to be a really important project for two reasons. One, it raises awareness about sexual harassment. And secondly, it allows women and girls to anonymously report sexual harassment. And one of the organizers and one of the spiritual uh, instruments of Harass Map is with us, Rebecca Chow. Would you please join us here on stage? Thank you. Um, our photographers have a very important uh, role, uh, not just you, uh, <laughs> but you know, if we don't have the official photography, um, then things haven't happened. But of course, they happen every day on Egyptian roads, on uh, the roads in Cairo. Rebecca, you've been uh, going to Egypt as somebody who just wanted to have a look, and you've been now there for eight years, um, so you must have fallen in love with the country. You found something that was very regrettable, um, a terrible state of affairs. How long has harassment been part and parcel of Egyptian culture? It's been increasing over the last decades. Um, my mother-in-law and many of the older generation remember a time when it was easy to walk safely in the streets and when bystanders would, would speak against harassment, would keep the streets safe. Um, it's been getting worse the last 10, 15 years and today you can see it's, it's pretty bad. Harass Map uh, is built on a platform that most of you might know who have been uh, to Deutsche Welle Media Forum before because uh, Ushahidi was actually presented here, uh, did a lot of good in Kenya, did a lot of good later on uh, in Haiti. Now you're using it uh, to keep the streets of Cairo a little bit safer. How far have you gone in keeping it safer? How successful were you up to now? Sure, well, actually we use the online tool to support our offline action, and we use it to organize in our own communities all over Egypt, not just in Cairo, but also outside. We have about 500 volunteers that go once per month into their own neighborhoods and speak to people and ask them to keep the streets safe against harassers. And our volunteers tell us that about eight out of 10 people that they talk to agree. And uh, the special thing is, just one second, it's, 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 it's getting even better um, because you have actually sort of engaged um, volunteers, more than 500, half of them men. How do you get them to sign up for this cause? We don't really know. <laughs> they just come. <laughs> um, for one thing, I think that um, giving people a voice to speak about what's happened to them, and men as well suffer from this problem. Some men are harassed themselves, but other men are just concerned about the women in their lives that are victims or at risk of being harassed. And we try to reach out to everyone and give them an open door to come and join us and to do work that they want to do you know, we, we facilitate it and we train them with our experience, but we also accept many ideas and try to empower everyone to work in their own communities in the way that works best in their own communities. So I think it just spreads and we're very grateful for everyone's help. Wonderful, a good idea should spread and you've just mentioned in uh, the video that we've seen at the beginning that your idea is actually going to other countries as well. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Thanks. We keep our fingers crossed.